Hello, good morning or good day. Welcome to Turning Point with Femi Emmanuel. Welcome to TPGF, Turning Point Global Family, Daily Devotional Prayer and Prophetic, prophetic Altar. Wake up to this altar daily, every day. After listening and receiving what God has sent to us on the day, turn to the prayer booklet. Turning Point Today, Daily Devotional Prayer Guide, authored by me. Learn how to read the entire Bible through in one year using that book. It will make you understand the Bible more and grow your spiritual life. TPGF members all over the world, subscribe online. Read it on your phone. You can do a whole year subscription or do it monthly with a token. To subscribe or subscription renewal, send a charge to Demi on plus two three four eight zero double five one double zero five one zero. Do so now. Welcome also to Friday, the twelfth in January twenty twenty four. Please open your hand to receive the day's prayers and be responding with Amen. I receive it. Hold or raise up your 2024 goals and expectation list. Day 12. 12 is not an ordinary number. I prophesy. This day, God shall give you extraordinary blessings. All you set out to do this year shall start happening for you early in the year. In fact, God shall surpass your expectation. God said to King Solomon, after he made a thousand bullock sacrifice at Gibeon, he said, that which you ask me to give, I have given. The one you did not ask, which you need, I have added. Ah, I bow my knees before the altar of prayer to pray to the Almighty God. All your desires this year shall be fully given to you. What you need that you did not remember to ask, God shall add it to it. This year, you shall operate in overflow. I prophesy surplus supplies for everyone. Your testimony shall be here very soon. I am seeing weddings and marriages this year. I am seeing conceptions and baby deliveries. I am seeing tenants becoming house owners. I am seeing high-profile, well-paid appointments. I am seeing promotion, mega contract, and business deals. Do this, everybody, if you can. Take a biro or a pen. Sign your signature on a piece of paper 12 times. This 12th day of the, of the month, 12 times. 12 times. Sign it 12, uh, 12 times. And I prophesy, you will soon be signing or transferring money in millions. If you're already doing so in millions, you will soon be doing it in multi-millions in all the currencies of the world. Your business will grow. Your investment and your career, they shall all grow phenomenally this year in Jesus' name. Keep that paper somewhere. We shall soon be reading your testimony here. The prophetic instruction of changing and repositioning seven things, seven items or objects around us, and then sending seven major change desires in your life to the global altar is yet to be well understood or complied with. I found that out at the prayer mountain yesterday. Over 70% of people have not done so fully. Why? Now, have you also done so? Until you do what God instructs, you may not see what God promised. Reposition. Change. Seven object around you. Change your towel, for instance. Change your bed sheet, your pillowcase. Change your night wears. Change your table. Your Turn it around and your and your chair. Change your three-seater chair from where you put the two-seater and turn the other one to the other side. Change something around you. Change your carpet or your drug. Change your teacup or mug. Change something. Change your refrigeration position, your microwave. Change your phone pouch. Change your underwear. Change your Bible cover. I took the calendar in my office from the right side of the wall to the other side. I have changed something. Change your hairstyle. Change your cutleries. Change your toothpaste or toothbrush. Change something. Change your toilet soap. Reposition something. It is prophetic. Change your anointing oil bottle. Change your mantle to a new one. Then send seven major desires of change you need in your life and your family to the TPGF Global Prayer Altar. Send it through an email to our email box, as I explained yesterday. Send to memo at turningpointtoday.com, written together in small letters. The word today is double T. It shall be placed on the prayer altar for you till your testimonies come. Then sow a special sacrificial seed of seven to back it up. 
70,000 naira, 7,000 naira, even 700 naira. But please, don't do it at the lowest. Do it at the maximum possible, even if it makes you uncomfortable. TPGF members in diaspora, in all other nations, do so in the currencies of your nations through our paper or if you want to do it in Arab, you are free 700 pounds 700 dollars 700 euro canadian dollars or 70 if that is what is comfortable for you remember it is a sacrifice it could be painful if it is not painful it could not it will not be gainful god said i will give them seven years of flourishing seasons beginning from this year however it is not by force, and no one is compelled to do it. It is for those who believe in the prophetic and also understand the power of sacrifice. God shall honor your faith and accept your sacrifice. January 12, bomb people, your birthday prayers. Open your hand. The Lord bless your new age and bless your birthday. The Lord give you long life and prosperity in Jesus' name. Now, let's receive teachings, counseling, and guidance. First one today. Good morning, TPGF. Please, sir, is it good to check your partner's phone to know if he or she is faithful? Please treat urgently. Wow, no, we have discussed this before. Don't check each other's phone. Now, build trust into your marriage from the beginning. Marriage is built on trust. Marriages that are crash, when people start checking each other's phone, then there is distrust. It has led to destruction, devastation in marriages. It has led to serious problems, high blood pressures and all kinds of sicknesses. It has led to fighting, to separation, even killing one another. Rather, discuss trust. Be on your knees and do warfare prayers if you success, su uh, suspect unfaithfulness in your partner. Leave the matter to God. The ultimate, however, is to build trust and love from the onset. Next, please, Daddy, I want to ask about genotype. I'm a guy of AC genotype. And they said, I must not marry anyone except AA. Is it compulsory? Everyone should look for AA to marry. About this, our genotype compatibility is a problem. Now, why must everybody be looking for AA to marry? Wow. We have talked on this severally. AC or AS should not marry another AS. AA can marry AA. AS can marry AA, but not AS to AS to avoid giving birth to sickle cell babies. Managing a sickle cell child is better imagined than experience. Please take to the doctor's advice. Don't say, I have faith. It won't happen. No. Next, please can I get the address of Living Spring Chapel in Port Harcourt? Wow, all TPGF members and listeners in Port Harcourt or around Port Harcourt or all those who have anyone in Port Harcourt, you want to link with the church over there or the prayer mountain in Port Harcourt, please send an SMS, a call or a chat to Pastor Femi Ayonidi on 0706-459-3564. Next, good day, Daddy. Please, I want to know if it is okay for a lady to get married to a man some as she is older than by months. Wow, yes, you can. Once age difference is not a problem or concern to both of you. Next, good morning, sir. And TPGF globally. I'm an immigration officer here in Nigeria. On the issue of the woman who wants to renew her passport in her maiden's name, the law only permits a married woman to change her surname to any other name on the ground of widowhood, divorce, or family resolutions. Separation is not a reason at all. She should continue without her husband's name for now until both parties are properly divorced with documented evidences. It may be painful, but that is the position of the law for now. She should not try any backdoor process. It will backfire later on. Wow, thank you so much for this piece of advice. God bless you. One thing I like, I love, and I thank God for, on this, our TPGF family, we have professionals in almost all the fields of endeavor in life. I carry this kind of uh, professional advice. TPGF, please offer such anytime we have issues on your areas of competence. Once again, thank you so much. I believe the person or persons, people concerned, 
have taken note of that balance cancer. Well, we'll build more on this tomorrow. Please we broadcast to your contact. Do so daily. Join us later this evening on Ask a Question broadcast, live broadcast on our social media platforms. Times as usual, 8 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Nigeria time. Tomorrow morning is our weekly communion service online. Please prepare your communion element from tonight. After receiving turning point tomorrow morning, take it maybe as far as a family or an individual. Remember to change or reposition the seven things as earlier on advice and send seven desired changes you need to TPGF Global Altar as explained and also the sacrificial seed for those who believe in it and are able to do the sacrifice. Remember, we don't buy God's blessings, neither do we pay for His miracles. It is all by grace and His mercy. But when we make sacrifice, especially painful sacrifice, wow, it works wonders. I have told us severally, remember what I said before, God did not just pray for us, He sacrificed His only begotten Son. Jesus did not just pray for us, He sacrificed His life. Holy Spirit did not just pray for us, He gave us His gift. Isaac did not just pray, he sowed in the land. King Solomon did not just pray, he offered a thousand bullocks. I can go on and on and on. Giving, tithing, and making sacrifice to back up our prayers is highly mysterious. Only God can understand it. Engage it all the time and see the power of God working in your life. Please don't just be receiving these messages, be applying them to your life. Pray the prayer Take the prophetic action, and you will see the power of God like never before. I prophesy, this year shall be amazing for all TPGF members and all listeners of Turning Point. Whatever climb you are, whatever industry, whatever country, the power of God will reach you there. What used to be a problem will now become testimonies. God will send angels in form of men, and men in form of angels to your life. Everyone connected to you, your children, your brothers and your sisters, your business, your platform, your network, your ministry, everything about you will witness a divine turnaround. This is your year. No one will die. We will not mourn in any family. The Lord bless you. What God cannot do does not exist. God sent me because of you. Heaven will not rest until you are truly blessed and fulfilled. I'm Femi Emmanuel. I love you. Have a great day. GPGF, truly blessed.